Hello everyone. Welcome to Cozy Cove. My name is Valerie B. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so now this is now day two on January 2nd of 2022. On day one on January 1st, we kind of just got started in the game for the first time. Kind of got to learn some of the characters and the NPCs. And we also got to do a little bit of fishing in the game. Now, I love fishing in games, I do. Unfortunately, I always seem to struggle with it. So, um, this particular game is no different. I definitely struggle with the mechanic behind this one. So, it's something I will definitely need to practice a little bit more with. But here we are, we're just waking up, day two. And we have earned a new badge, Punctuality. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to be doing today? Let's see here. Okay, my controller is being awkward. <laughs> it wasn't plugged in correctly, I guess. Okay, let's talk to Flamey here. We'll see what do I do next. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you, if you can help them. Okay, and let's go ahead, check out these snow piles. What's in there? Got some more snow crystal and three snowballs. And it looks like we have a quest today from Charlotte. Let's see what we could help her with. You're well on your way to being completely oriented, Scout. I hear you've been helping out other girls on the island. That's a nice thing for a spirit scout to do. Hey, since you're one out there searching for missing things, you haven't seen my tea mug, have you? Okay, so now we have to find Charlotte's tea mug. So that would be our first quest for today. Well, Grab those snowballs and crystals. Here's another mound here. And what is this over here? Mound of dirt. Where is my shovel? Did I lose my shovel? Let's check our inventory. Hmm, okay, so it is there. Let's go ahead and try using it again. Okay, so I need a, sil a silver shovel, so I guess we'll have to get that upgraded by Jeremy? Maybe? Yeah. Let's see what he has for us today. Hey, Jeremy. Hello again, Maker Buddy. I've been thinking about you, stuck here on Cozy Grove. You and I were sort of in the same pickle barrel, aren't we? I'm not quite sure what you mean. Oh, sorry, I must have gotten the saying wrong. Stick to woodworking and leave clever sayings to the professionals. That's what my mom always says. All I mean is, neither one of us quite knows what we're doing here, do we? But I can help you dig a little deeper into this mystery. With five branches and one piece of softwood, I think I can do just that. Okay, so we need to find a couple more branches. So let's... Check out this pile here. What's in here? It's more snow crystal and snowballs. Okay. I'll go up this way. Oh, here is another bear. Let's see what this bear is about. Okay, so this is Francesca. Who dares? Who dares disturb the forest? Sorry, just trying to be sociable. Sociable? If you're trying to be sociable, then you must be alive. How wonderful. I thought you were just an imp back to torment me as usual. It's been a while since we've been alive. We've had a living, breathing creature in these woods. For decades, it's just been me and my fellow trees. Can they talk like you? 
Oh, yes, they are just full of thoughts and opinions. Emerson, Carson, Cacao, Cacao, Thoro, say hello to our guest. Okay, they must be feeling shy. <laughs> of course, I'm a little different from your typical tree. I'm sure you noticed. It's my embarrassing lack of leaves. The imps plucked them off me years ago and scattered them across the island. Would you mind finding my leaves for me? Okay, so we have to find five leaves for Francesca. Okay. So there's a pile here. Got some branches. So now we have enough to do the quest for Jeremy. Mr. Gruffle will take that back to him. Oh, and I think we just got the tea mug. So we can take that back to Charlotte. Okay, what else is over here though? Another leaf pile up here. Oh, can I see more fishes out there? And yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to catch more fishes. I don't know how successful I'll be, but I'll try. Okay, more snow crystal and snowballs. Okay, let's say hello to Patrice. Hey there, Postal Pal. Beautiful day as always. Got a little bit of a non-standard mission for you today. My girl Opie took my earmuffs on her walk yesterday. She didn't bring them back. Think you can track them down for me? I suppose we definitely can do that. Let's let's check our mailbox as well. What's in here? We got some gift wrap. Okay. And this one, we got three bagels. So I guess it was bagels that Bird wanted. And next one is Cheerios Scouty Wouty. I'm surprised I haven't heard back. Is everything okay? You've got your flame guide, right? Your aunt told me all flamey has been in your family since before the last big purge. Keep feeding Flamey, and they'll help you locate all the restless souls lost in the dark corners of that island. This is from Scoutmaster Blake. Okay, so let's get his gifts. We've got a common log cabin stool. Okay, so let's discard this one, and we'll discard this one. Okay. So this one we need the silver shovel for. We'll have a look in this pile here. Oh, the imps are asking for stuff, but they run away every time. Okay, so there's some shrubbery. You feel the urge to murder it with a machete. Murder the, the shrubbery. Okay, that's interesting choice of words. But here's a leaf. I guess we'll have to find a machete. But now we found one of five leaves. Get our snow crystal there. Here's another leaf pile. And we got the, the crystal that we missed from before, I guess. Okay, so let's go back to Mr. Gruffle. Hello, Jeremy Gruffle. You found all five branches and one piece of softwood, too. That's great. I was worried I'd asked too much of you. Here you go, your very first pickaxe. It's a little flimsy, but it should let you dig right into the rock of the island. And while digging, if you find any answers about why I'm doomed to haunt this place, well, I wouldn't mind knowing is all. Okay, so now we have a pickaxe. Okay. Okay, and now his area is lit up again. Oh, our backpack is full, so we can't pick this up. Um, let's go see if we can't put some stuff away. Let's go back over to Flamey here. Okay, so I can put stuff in my storage. I have 12 spaces free. Okay, what do I want to put away? Okay, so I can put away these mushrooms. I have 50 of them already. Wow. 
put that. What else do we want to put? Maybe we'll put some of the soft wood away. Got some hardwood. Um, we'll leave some of the mushrooms in here with us now. What is this? A potted poppy. Okay, this is like something we can, some sort of decoration we can put down. Okay, let's keep that in our inventory and put it down. Um, I don't know what this is. A scout book page? This object is too important to someone, but they may not need to receive it yet. Hold on to it for a while. Okay, let's put that in storage for now. We got a pair. We got all these shells. I suppose we can sell them. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. And here is some more decoration. Okay, what else can we put away? And we can take this over to Charlotte. Okay, so let's just put those ones away. Got three items out of our inventory, at least. And now we can give the bird the food. There we go. Oh, no, we're going to give it some love. Yes, that's great. This creature seems to like you. What would you like to name it? Okay, oh, so we can just choose from one of these names. I'll just choose the first one, Thoughts. <laughs> okay, so I can pick it up, I can pet it, or let's pet it again. Give it some more love. Okay, so I'm going to put the bagels away instead because I don't need it anymore. And yeah, let's go back out. So let's go, let's get this first and we can give this to Charlotte. Still searching, what I need is out there somewhere. Check your quest log for a hint. Okay, do we need to find more than one? Uh, it seems we do. <laughs> okay. So we will go, we'll keep searching. And let's head down to the shore. See what's down there. Yes, and it looks like the captain has a quest for us as well. Hello, Captain Billweather. That ill wind is back. I've been stuffing feathers in my coat all morning to no avail. If I can't get warmed from some quarters soon, I'll have to give up my dramatic seaward posture. Squawk, I wonder if he could help. Who? Why, the merchant of mischief, trickster of terror firmer, my constant tormentor, Mr. Kit. Some say he sells wares what can cure a captain of his shivers, but perhaps those are just fishermen's tales. Can we pick this up? Yes, we can. Got some more pastry. Is it, oh, more pastry over here. Okay. Oh, and here's an earmuff. Okay, is there anything else down here we can find? Okay, so here's that, those bugs. I do believe we can catch those with the net. Oh, and it's indicating there's a shell here. I'm not sure what to do with that. <laughs> and let's head over here. Oh, who's this? Oh, there's another pastry though. Let's grab this shell and let's see who this is. Mrs. Caruse. Oh, is is it that time again? It feels like I lay to rest only minutes ago. Has a whole year really passed by already? Gasp. Wait just a minute. Is that Kit I spy over there? I know he was here on Cozy Grove the last time I visited. Oh, wait. You're a spirit scout. That explains things. Hello, little soul tender. Thank you for making my latest visit to this island interesting. Okay, so I say nice to meet you. 
I must say it pleases me to be able to share my festivities with a living soul. The ghosts of Cozy Grove deserve joy as much as anyone, but they tend to forget themselves. With you around, perhaps we can have a memorable festival for a change. Oh, it's so exciting to imagine. Please, please, don't be shy. Take a look at what I have to offer. Okay, should I offer her a hug? You really are a spirit cat. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Have you spoken with any snow people today? They think they they think so little of themselves, but their memories take my breath away. So let's uh, we can craft something, and I want to craft a special gift. Let's, let's click on that. Okay, so we can craft fruit cake. Oh, that's very festive. So we need toasted nut flour, roasted mushroom, and roasted fruits. I have no idea how to get any of those things, so we'll have to wait on that. Um, yeah. These other things, we can get a flamey a gift, so that must be a log. And we can get Mr. Kit a gift, and we can get Mrs. Karas a gift. Okay. Let's see what else we can do with her. When is a special time, little mortal, a time of reflection. In magical places like this, even the snowmen have stories to tell. They are the echoes of lives long since ended. Their voices, like their actions, are still rippling outwards through time. Most people underestimate their own impact, little scout. Okay, let's, let's craft something. It says we have a new recipe. So we can <laughs> craft a, like, looks like a toboggan or a sled. O to small connections, rings the snow imp, O to broken necks, O to ephemeral joy, ephemeral, I'm not going to say it anymore, <laughs> O to last minute piety, and half of the snow imp. Okay, so we can craft the sled, and we can craft this other sled. Um, let's go ahead and craft the first one. Okay, so one is decoration for winter festival and it's uncommon. One is decoration winter festival common. So let's go with the uncommon one. You need to make some space in your inventory first. Of course I do. Okay, so we'll come back down here. And we also have some shells on the beach here we can collect. But yeah, I don't have any space. Can we put, let's maybe put some more stuff in storage. What can we put? Oh, what is this? What do we do with this spirit bird essence? Um, we'll put it in storage for now. And I think I still need these. Um, maybe I should go ahead and just put the decorations down someplace. Okay, let's now how do we put the decorations down again? Get our backpack. Okay, so this is a decoration. And we'll hold it in our hands. Where do we want to place it though? Um I can put it down. Oh, do I press Y to drop it? Do I want to drop it? So Y to drop. No, I don't want to drop it. So let's pick it up. Pick that up. <laughs> okay, how do I place down this decoration? Okay, no, don't want to pick up the bird. I want, am I thinking of this all wrong? Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna look at my backpack. Okay, oh, should we press Y to place it? Okay, so let's, yeah, let's place it right here. And now we should check what the bird does like. So it likes lamp and rustic decor. Okay, so if I put these things down next to it, it wouldn't bother it in any way, I don't think. Okay, let's place something else. Uh, let's place this right here. Okay, that looks fine there, I suppose. And what else can we place? Okay, we'll place this thing. And we'll place it here. Okay, okay, so that made our little bird friend happy. So that's a good thing. Okay, so we place all our decorations. And can I put anything else away? I'm gonna put um, I'll put this away. I don't know if I need it. And the wooden shovel, we'll keep that. Keep these things. What is this? Oh, the quartz gemstones. Do I need to keep that? I probably should. Okay, yeah, I think I'll keep the rest of the things with me. So let's go back down and collect these last uh, shells. And let's see what Ms. Cruz has for us now. That we can have more space. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I want to craft something. And I was going to craft this one. I will do it. And it's crafted. Okay, so we can go ahead and put the the thing we just crafted down as well. Where do you want to put that? So let's place it right here. Oh, it's pretty cute. So I can pick it up, rotate it, or I can just kind of move it. Okay. Okay, let's go back on our quest. See what we need to get done still. We'll pick up anything we can. Oh, here's a dirt I we need to check. Got a potato, it looks like. Okay. Hey, you found them. I just love my lucky air muffs. What better way to block out the screams coming from an open mail, right? Oh dear, that sounds terrible. And what did she give to us? Got a spirit wood and a potted tulip and, un and a common medieval lamp. Okay, great. And she gave us some coins as well. Well, thank you very much. Let's go put those uh, those two items down right now so we can free up that space in our inventory. Oh, there's another spot we can dig. Hey, Flamey, we got a log for you. Yum. Only six more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you, if you can help them. And let's go ahead and put down, I'll put this guy down here. Okay, so this particular potted tulip doesn't like rustic decor, but it likes other potted flower plants and lamp and cozy decor. So it places over here, by itself for now. 
Yeah. And what is this potted plant like? So it likes potted flowers and dislikes rustic decor as well. So let's pick it up. Let's put these two over here next to each other, I suppose. Okay, where is that in my inventory now? There it is. Let's place it right here. Okay. So they... Now we have a lamp. Did it turn into... Was it a potted plant before? Now it's a lamp? What just happened there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, here's a tree with fruit on it. Let's check it out and get these fruits harvested. Oh, um, no, I want to harvest this thing here. Got some tree branches and a crisp and apple. Okay, let's collect this here. So we've got some more pastry. Okay, we've got some more hardwood. A branch and a red mushroom this time. Okay. Let's give this into Patrice. Hey there, Stam Champ. I'm glad you stopped by. Have you noticed any imps running around with a bobble over their head? Yes, I've seen them. I applaud your keen observation. Those are hungry imps. They are crying out for something to eat. But imps are very picky. They'll only eat a specific item they are craving. If you feed it to them, they'll happily give you something in return. Okay. I mention this because one of those hungry imps made off with a letter of mine. I was hoping you could get, get it back for me. So would you like me to tell you the secret to feeding hungry imps? Uh, definitely. Hungry imps are craving a particular item to eat. They'll show you what they crave with a bubble over their head. Don't just walk up to a hungry imp. They will get scared and vanish. Keep your distance so the imp is comfortable. You'll need to throw the item they crave to them. Hold the item in your hand and hold the RT and A direction, then release to throw. If the item lands near the imp, they should eat it. If you miss, don't worry. You can pick the item up and try again. After the hungry imp eats the item, they will so show you their happiness with a heart. You can tap a happy imp to approach and they'll give you something as thanks. Come back when you've got my letter back from that hungry imp. Okay. So, there's a hungry imp right here, and we do have mushrooms, I think. So, we'll stay back here, and am I pressing the right buttons? I don't know. So, do I have to select the item I want first, maybe? Let's give that a try. Okay, so it was a mushroom. Do I have any mushrooms? Or did I put it all away? I think I put all the mushrooms I had away. So we'll have to go get some, some more out of the storage. Oh no, 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 no. It's here still. It's just in the other part of my inventory. Okay. And so I hold it in my hand. Okay, let's go back over to that, that imp. Let's see if we can't throw it to him. Okay, I am not aiming in the right way. Not sure how to cancel the aiming. Hey, don't steal my mushroom. Don't. Hey. They stole my mushroom. <laughs> okay. Um, let's try that again with the right imp, maybe? Yeah? Okay, let's... Uh... 
here you go. Oh, maybe that's too far away. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Let's try picking it up again. Okay, one more time. Oh, now he's disappeared. Oh no, here he is again. Um, hello, my sitting friend. Could do you still want the mushroom? Now he doesn't want the mushroom anymore. Okay, or maybe I'm just too close. Okay, let's go look for a different imp, maybe. Oh, here's a leaf pile. Let's check it out. Got some more mushroom. And there's a dirt mound we can check out. There we go. So, oh, now he wants it again. So let's try this one more time. Do you want that? Okay, so he's eating. Oh, no, he has a heart. And now I can... Oh, there we go. We got it. We got her letter back for her now. Here you go, Patrice. Hey, you found my letter. I bet that hungry imp was pleased you fed him. Did it give you anything else in return? An imp essence? Ah, you must have made them very happy if they dropped an essence. Hungry imps often drop essence in appreciation. It's handy for crafting food and other useful things. Well, I hope that was helpful. Talk to you later. Okay. Oh, got another spirit log. Okay, great. And our story advanced. So now we're one full heart with her. One of five hearts. That's great. Okay. So it looks like she's gone to sleep for today. Go check out this dirt mound here. Okay, anything interesting over here? Oh, here's another M, but he wants, uh, let's grab this. He wants one of those red mushrooms. So let me, I, do I have to put it into the main inventory spot? I don't know, Let, let's give it a try. So, um, is that too far? Uh, let's try it. Here you go, bud. Yes, that was great. Oh, he likes it. And now we can interact, and he gave us some essence. Happy imp essence. Okay, let's dig through this little mound here. Got some more potatoes. Get some snow crystals here and some snowballs. Another leaf pile here. Okay, now do we have Charlotte's quest completed? I think so. So we got the five pastries and the teacup. Oh, we got another leaf. Great. It was hiding behind this mound here. Oh, and we missed this earlier, I guess. We'll come back to you soon, Flamey. Let's give this over to Charlotte. It's so nice to see my mug again. I think I lost it yesterday. Given my ghostly condition, it's hard for me to be sure. A ghost's existence is a little confusing, you see. It's a little confusing. Our sense of here and now is all mixed up with our memories of our past lives. Objects from the past tend to appear and disappear as we think about them. So this year, it might be my old ranger's mug, or it might be a memory of a mug made solid by energy from the beyond. Sip. Either way, its tea is hot and tasty. Well, I'm glad we can help. So we've got another spirit log, a story advance, and we've got an oversized candle. So I guess that is a decoration. Let's collect everything we got there. We'll go turn these two spirit logs into flaming. Hey, flaming. More. Only five more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. There's another one. Delicious. Only four more logs before I'm full. I sense at least two logs out there. 
Maybe close, maybe far. Okay. So what do we have to give? We still have to give a have a quest for the captain. What was it that he wanted? Hello, Captain. Go to Mrs. Kit's store to buy me a sea captain sweater. Find me fellas around the island. Okay, so let's go and see if we have enough money to buy this item for Mr. Kit. Hopefully it's not expensive. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Kit. I want to buy something. So that net, camera, what? Common steampunk, snowberry bush, a lemon tree, potted cone flower, store upgrade catalog. Okay, where are we gonna get the item that the captain needs? Oh, then we have to select uh, want to buy clothes. Okay. So a knit cap, a sweater dress, oh, a striped scarf, a gothic veil, infinity mask, a basic t-shirt, a jean dress, headphones, ribbon uniform, a sweater vest. Now, is that what Mr. the captain wanted? Oh no, the sea captain sweater, and it's 250 coins, so we can buy that. Let's go ahead and get that. We can part with this sea captain sweater for 250 old coins. How's that sound? That sounds great, Mr. Kent. I do not need to wear it right now, because I'm gifting it. So let's head back down. I think we needed to find some feathers for him as well. But let's, let's just go ahead and turn in the one item at least. And we will scour around for those feathers as well. So the rumors were true. If that fox sells wares as fine as these, I'll permit him to haunt the dry ducks for now. Yes, indeed, the chill is fading already. This is a wing warmer of the finest quality. I think I'll add it to my cabinet of the mine. What's a cabinet of the mine? Why, every explorer worth their salt has a cabinet of the mine. Though some of the less lyrical among them might call it an item collection. Squawk. <laughs> it's an imaginary box I used to track the doodads. Whelps and gollywats have come across in my travels. Once you have the idea, you can easily imagine an item collection of your own. Right. Is this item collection even real? As real as you want it to be. Ah, I see it taking shape. Anything you like to donate? Um, what can I can donate all these things? So, I guess I'll also like maybe all these things that's highlighted. Um. Okay, let's donate. So many new specimens. Shall we add them to the collection? Uh, yeah, I guess. I'll archive this right away. Okay, so what is this now? So rough, these are the things I just donated? Okay, so I can get a present for it. That's good. Oh, 200 coins. That's fantastic. And I can get a present for this. I guess I can get presents for everything I donate. So I guess I'm probably only going to be able to donate everything one time. Let's grab this 200 more coins. So we're definitely racking up the coins right now. 200 more coins. So these are all the shells I donated. Okay. And I didn't donate any fish. Let me check this. Oh, 
and I donated all of these. 10 quarts. Oh my goodness, getting a lot of things. Okay, so we got quite a bit of quartz and stuff. Anything else we can collect? Here. 500 coins that time. Oh, we got a crafting recipe. So I think that is everything. Wow, we certainly got a lot of stuff that time. And we kind of cleared up some of the inventory spots. Okay, what else is over here? Okay, I guess I'll leave over here. There it is. We'll pick that up. Okay, I see a shell over this way. What else is there on this beach we can collect? Okay, you have to be very careful down here. Things seem easily hidden down here. Okay. Okay, let's head back up. Okay, let's go to Flamey here and we'll give this log over. Gulp, only three more logs till I'm full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. Okay, let's go ahead and explore some more and see what we can find. There's a dirt pile over here. And snow pile. Oh, it looks like, does the, the imp want a snowball? Now, how do I make a snowball? Maybe I should go back down to Mrs. Caros and see if I can get a snow make snowballs. Okay, so this is the scout book page, a page turn out of the Venerable Spirit Scout Wilderness Guide. So maybe should I put this into storage? And let me try putting this away. So, um, yeah, I'll put this into storage. And so now these sparkling shells, I don't know if I gave them over already. Does it say owned one, a rare shell, donate collection for a reward? So I can still donate this one and sell for coins so i can sell this one okay well that's good to know and we can put this in storage or we can keep it we will place this down and this is a recipe okay so let's let's learn the recipe you have learned a new cooking recipe, joyous impessence. Now you can cook it anytime you want at the baker shop. Where is the baker shop? <laughs> and we'll put this down. Okay, so it's a potted plant. It likes other flower plants and just like rustic. So we'll put this right over here with the other one. And we'll place it right here. Okay, yes. Oh, and we got some more items. Now I wonder if I can donate these to the captain as well. But let's go down to Mrs. Caress and see if we can craft snowballs. Is there anything more joyous than a snowball fight, little mortal? I can't think of a better blend of harmless naughtiness and pure delight. I want to craft something. I want to craft a special gift. I want to craft snow folk. Oh, she sells clothes as well. Okay, let's see what craft snow folk means. 
Oh, okay, there's nothing here to craft. So I can't craft any snow folk. Um, let's see. I'm gonna craft something. So I can craft any of these items. I, I still need a lot more snow crystal. Okay. So we'll gradually, eventually get there. 300, we are still a ways off. So there must be a way for me to craft the snowballs though. Or can I just throw the snowballs at them? Maybe that's all I need to do. Um, yeah, let's give that a try. Uh, did it throw a snowball at me? Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's definitely throwing snowballs at me. <laughs> okay, so this one... Maybe it's trying to have a snowball fight with us. Ah, I missed. Missed again. Oh boy, I am not good at snowball fights. Did I get him? Okay. I don't think I'm good at snowball fighting. He's certainly good at it because he's getting me every time. Did I get him that time? Oh, yeah! Now he has a heart. And I got some more snow crystal. Okay. Okay, this guy wants a snowball fight as well. Let's see what we can do. Ah! They are way better at it than I am. Oh, now he's happy. He's happy to, that I hit him, so that's interesting. <laughs> so we got some more snow crystals. Okay. Let's go about our way, see if we can not find some more stuff. Got three more snowballs. This guy wants some sort of root vegetable. I don't think I have that as yet. Another one wanting a snow fight. <laughs> oh, these emperors are certainly very playful. Okay, we need to find these leaves. For Francesca. Okay, let's keep exploring. Anything? Oh, here. Oh, here's two leaves. Perfect. Okay, now let's take them back to Francesca and see what she's going to give us. Hi, hey, Francesca. We got your leaves. Ah, those are the leaves I was looking for. Thank you. Hmm, I can't seem to reattach them. I can't even find the branches they came from. How strange. Wordsworth, Frost, any thoughts on the matter? No. Nothing. Typical. Most of the time, these trees won't stop rustling. But as soon as I need their opinion, then silence is golden. So, sh is she actually a tree, or, or is she a bear as well? Not sure. Oh, but we got some stuff from her. Lots of coins. Thanks for your help, early a little spirit. Did you notice the burst of calls that occurred afterwards? It's hard to miss. I suppose it was rather dramatic. Bringing culture to the island is a noble thing. This place isn't mean to be so gloomy and lifeless. 
I bring this up because my dear friend Thoro is in need of your help. Okay, he's the walnut tree over there, just out of reach of my color. He's got an umbrella snagged in his branch that is bothering him terribly. I'd ask you to shake the umbrella free, but because Thoro is uncolored, mortals like you can't interact with him. He can't even grow walnuts in his uncolored state. Poor thing, he looks so barren now. You'll need to extend reach of my color to help him. How do we do that? Take this spirit lamp, place it on the colored edge of my domain to extend it to Thor. Okay. And then I need to collect an umbrella. Let me just grab all these coins. It's so pretty when it's all lit up like this. Okay, so right here is edge. So if we place the the lamp, um, maybe right here, that will extend the reach. Um, let's let's go ahead and place it here. Is that? Oh, is it still out of the reach? Okay, I think it's just slightly out of the reach still. Let's pick this up and try it again. Let's try placing it like maybe right here instead. Oops, wrong button. Hey, little imp, I'm trying to do something here. <laughs> Stop hitting me. There we go, that should get get him yes there we go so now we can harvest this and get that umbrella maybe perfect now we also have another light I wonder if we should maybe place this down and extend over this way a little bit I don't know what's over there though So let's give this back to Francesca. You got that cursed umbrella out of Thor's here. Now he can finally stop whining about it. You have our gratitude, spirit friend. And while you're here, maybe you can find a new home for my other friend. Here you go. What do we get? Oh, a common spear tree. So now we can plant that tree someplace. I have many leafy friends, Kafka, Kipling, and Proust, all of them compelling, beautiful, and wondrously unique, and strictly within the public domain. <laughs> Very interesting. So where should we put the pear tree down? Let's get this big spot here. Got some coins. Um, I suppose, does it... We'll just have to put it someplace within the light. There's another tree here. And harvest this. Okay, so we got a yellow plum this time. I don't think we've gotten that before, so maybe we can donate that to the captain. So let's go ahead and let me put that uh, pear tree in here. I'll place it right here okay and let's harvest it oh great so it looks like we got another some new fruit so let's head back to the captain hello captain bill weather oh i was just thinking i want to donate something to the collection let's Go ahead and donate something. We still need to get feathers for him, I believe. So what can we donate? So we haven't donated this yet. So we'll select that, that, this, and this. Anything else? This. Oh, we can do the snow crystal as well. And the mushrooms. Okay. So let's go ahead and donate all of these. 
Sounds great. Here you go. I'll archive this right away. So let's see what we got from that. So, oh, 1,500 old coins and eight gem stones. Wow. Okay. And from this one, more coins. Holy cow. Our coins are really stacking up now. Got some more quartz gemstone. Okay, and last one for the snow crystal. Okay, some more quartz gemstone. But now we have almost 6,000 in the old coins. So that's great. We're on our way to getting that uh, net. I believe that's 7500 for the net. Okay, so we still need to find the feathers. Okay, feather, feather, feathers. Where are you? Sneaky feathers. They are somewhat tricky to see, I think. But it's easier in the lit area these kind of dull gloomy areas it seems harder to find things okay let's go up here and we'll give this log to Plainy. yum we'll need two more logs before i'm full i don't sense any more logs out there today you should check back tomorrow okay so did i have a quest do i did i donate the feathers I feel like it didn't donate all the feathers. Okay, maybe not. So maybe that is all that I can donate for today. So I guess that is it for day two. Thank you very much for joining me.